In the Urban Dictionary, John means gift from God, although in his case, let's hope God's kept the receipt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you should have to listen to that, John. I think your turn's coming, mate. <laughs> John oozes coolness and charm. Well, it must have leaked out somewhere, because there's certainly none left. <laughs> David once mooned Simon Cowell. Witnesses still can't agree which was the biggest asshole. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. David recently featured in a documentary about homeless people living on the streets. <laughs> he wasn't meant to, he just popped out to the shops. <laughs> And this is what I get. It looks like they've taken you in and sort of washed you. <laughs> I tried to, you know, I tried to make achievable health goals. I did a uh, no lilt February. <laughs> 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 but, you know, first of March, then, ah, drop it off. After seeing Rachel on Strictly, it's clear she combines the brains of Professor Stephen Hawking with the dancing ability of Professor Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Friend of Dorothy is a euphemistic term describing someone who's gay, whilst a friend of John Richardson is a euphemistic term describing someone who's imaginary. <laughs> Lee left school at 15 with just two O levels, and to make matters worse, neither of them were his. <laughs> at least he met Catherine Tate. One of Catherine's best-loved sketch characters is Nan, a cantankerous, grumpy pensioner who makes everyone feel uncomfortable by saying offensive things. <laughs> Sean Locke is suing for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Tate starred as Donna Noble in Doctor Who. Of course, we've all got our favourite doctor. Mine is Dr Neil Sanderson, the surgeon who gave me my penis extension. <laughs> John is a writer, comedian, football fanatic, but perhaps the most surprising thing about John is that his wife still hasn't smothered him to death in his sleep. <laughs> Separate beds. <laughs> Victoria is the host of a highbrow intellectual quiz show called Only Connect. If you haven't seen it, it's like an upmarket version of Regular Countdown, but for an audience who might make it through next winter. <laughs> Claudia is our guest team captain uh, this evening. Any yeah. advice for her? I think she'll be fine, actually. I was thinking of um, my favourite captains, and she's got a lot in common with um, Wayne Rooney, uh, Jack Sparrow, and Captain Hook. Yes. They've all got strong hair. Yeah. And two out of three have got great eyeliner. I think it should be fine. <laughs> you said Wayne Rooney's got strong hair. Yeah, he's paid for it, hasn't he? Oh, Have you got it? a problem with paying for stuff on your body? <laughs> <laughs> Susie's written 13 books. They say everyone's got one good book inside them, so fingers crossed for the next one, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Simmons, he's the answer to the question. What would it look like if my thumb was hairy? <laughs> Are you serious? You look a little bit like a hairy thumb. <laughs> I don't, I don't well, mean that in a negative way. Hat on, mate. I look, I look fantastic with a hat. We're off. It's a different story. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> John's done a picture of you on his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 38 years old. I'm getting fatter and bald, or I can't help what my face looks like. <laughs> Sorry, you can't help what your face looks like. That moustache is. That's a permanent fixture, is it? <laughs> <laughs> stuff up there, I might as well have something to comb. Do you get money from Guess Who? <laughs> In November 2012, John released his first stand-up DVD, Funny Magnet. Of course, times have changed. People don't really buy DVDs anymore. A trend started by John in November 2012 <laughs> when he released his first DVD, Funny Magnet. <laughs> This year, Sean embarks on a UK-wide tour where he'll be visiting Ipswich, London, Dundee and Liverpool. So if you're a detective watching this in 18 months' time, that's the pattern you should be looking for. <laughs> <laughs> David says the most disgusting thing he's ever put in his mouth is jellyfish. I think I speak for us all when I say I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> John, you recently had your first wedding anniversary. How did you celebrate? Well... Did you let her out? <laughs> <laughs> we went for a nice meal. And then I had arranged a meeting with our financial advisor to plan our wills. <laughs> because we're very... We don't often get days off together, and when you get one, it's important to get some admin out of the way. And when she mentioned your will, did, was she...? She does all right if I die, to be honest. I mean, in every sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
She's pregnant, my wife. I think it's important. Hang on, this is a bombshell. Your, your wife's expecting. Yes, she is. Yes. This is fantastic news. <laughs> <laughs> Take it down a notch until we know it's his. Um... <laughs> yeah, we'll know straight away if it comes out and this guy's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this place is bloody filthy. Yeah. <laughs> It will be. That's the part of it I'm most worried about. <laughs> they don't come out clean, do they? I'm, I'm pretty sure your baby will come out clean and in a cardigan, somehow. <laughs> years and years ago, when I was a, a teenager, I wrote occasionally for the Daily Telegraph, and I once got... <laughs> I once got... <laughs> Reg is not the only D hunter on the show. The other is Susie Dent. She's always hunting the D. <laughs> When he was a child, Joe used to regularly sit in the front garden and sing to the flowers in an act described by local bullies as inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually do that. What did you sing? I used to sing Gustav Holtz, The Planets. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say that. What yes. are the words to Jupiter? <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> da, da, da. It's just da, da. <laughs> what age were you when you were doing this? Oh, about 22. <laughs> <laughs> Miles is so posh that when he was on the Royal Variety Show, the Queen and Prince Philip queued up to shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Miles, you went to some pretty posh schools, and yet you're the worst player we've ever had on <laughs> Countdown. Is that right? Yes, you're the worst. You've, you've never scored a point on this. You're awful at it. I've not scored a point. Have I not won any round or anything? Nothing. Really? And you've had an education that cost, I mean, thousands. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I, I mean, I'm just a bad advert for it. I'm not saying that, you know, <laughs> private schooling should be outlawed, but perhaps it should. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I, so, I'm sorry that I've not won it. But maybe tonight I will. Oh, no, I don't... I wouldn't have thought so. If you... If you <laughs> have you played this, or have you only ever been in the... Let's not call it the easy chair, but your chair. <laughs> have, you, have you been a contestant I've on never, this ever? I've never been uh, a contestant. I, I think it's beneath me, frankly. But it's... <laughs> it's great to have you here, Miles, but frankly, I... I... <laughs> How, how you you couldn't play the game, because then who would do your job? Because nobody could do your job. <laughs> Maybe um, some teeth in a glass? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's main hobby is crocheting. I love crocheting. It's great for people who want to make something horrible out of yarn, but aren't cut out for the high-octane, adrenaline fueled world of knitting. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan was awarded an OBE in 2005, which just goes to show how hard it is to take back an OBE. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, we're on the same team. <laughs> no, but it's true. No. <laughs> uh, Rod, you're one of our highest ever scorers on the show. Uh, right. do you, is there any competition this evening? Do you think you're going to walk this? No, I'll walk it. Absolutely walk it. No. <laughs> I'm not worried at all about it. I have an instant... I'm shit with numbers. My pin is 1111, always. <laughs> it's the only one I can remember. But words, I have a, it, a... Like a gift. A gift where I see words... Any jumbled up word floating around, I can immediately... Like above your head now, I'm seeing C, K, I, D. Straight away, my brain makes sense of it. <laughs> Straight away, my brain makes sense of it, and I've got a word there now already. <laughs> It'll take them a while, but we're all there. <laughs> Johnny treats his body like a temple. Unfortunately, it's one of those temples that's been ruined by ISIS. <laughs> Johnny was once described as the thinking woman's crumpet, because when women look at him, they think, I bet he eats a lot of crumpets. <laughs> John's teammate, Rod Gilbert. Yeah! Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Uh, Rod is hugely popular in Wales, so all the Welsh will be watching tonight. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Putting a dress on some livestock, counting up to 12 on their fingers, covering each other with phlegm during a normal conversation, or having sex with a close relative. They'll take time out to cheer Rod on. <laughs> Welcome to Countdown, Henning. I'd ask the audience to make Henning feel welcome tonight, but I know that 52% of them want him to piss off back to Germany. <laughs> It is great to have you here tonight, Henning, because it'll be good to have a hostage when the war begins. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that, didn't you? <laughs> Henning, what was your take on the whole Brexit vote? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you have to take the rough with the smooth, and uh, there is upsides to living in an attic. <laughs> Oh, 
all, it's all very peaceful. Might even get a book out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a right old shambles, and everyone who voted for, for leave should be shot. But, um... <laughs> And certainly if they had to examine, but uh, it's the way it goes, it's democracy, like it or loathe it, it's the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you vote, Henning? Because you've lived here Well, of time. course not, because I'm not a citizen. <laughs> I haven't had to vote. Oh, you could have had mine. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Dent is the longest-serving member of the Countdown team, having first appeared in 1992. I once asked her, Susie, what's your secret? She said, I once kicked a dog to death. <laughs>